Hello, my name is Dan Bossi, joined by Tarso Veloso, our Brazilian chief uh, here in Chicago. We're here to talk just a little bit about what's going on in the North American uh, uh, the growing season and what came from the USDA crop report yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, um, about CONAB, no surprises on CONAB's report. Everyone was waiting for a bigger uh, soybean crop and everyone was actually waiting for a, a cut in uh, Safrinha production. I don't think the cut that we saw CONAB's uh, did yesterday was enough for, for the, the drought we had in Brazil. So we're, we're looking for CONAB maybe cutting another 4 to 5 millimetric tons, especially with the rains we're seeing right now in Paraná. They will slow down harvest and Paraná is probably going to lose a little bit of uh, corn during the harvest. So we have a Brazilian corn crop that's maybe 80 to 81, mm -hmm. 80 to 82, let's use a little broader range mm -hmm. in the final. Uh, we also have problems, however, in, in the Black Sea with corn, and so that crop is going backwards. In all, it looks like South American corn production, including our friends in Argentina, could be down somewhere between 25 and 28 million tetric tons. So, Tarso, is, is there a bullish story in the corn market, or what do you think? Uh, it's hard right now, especially for, for Brazilians, because the fall prices in Brazil are high, are highest and then American and Ukraine offers for until the end of July. And Brazilians, we're seeing that Brazil is not exporting corn at all right now. So I think we're going to have to wait. Brazilians are actually waiting to see how the weather is going to play out here, because the production in Brazil, even after the cut, will be more than enough, to, especially to, to, to after the, the truck drivers in Brazil. We have low stocks right now, but the harvest will be more than enough to take Brazil to, to wait until the next crop. Okay. Uh, you are about ready to start crop tours for your mm -hmm. Brazilian clients so. across the United States. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think you'll find in those crop tours? Again, we're only uh, just emerged. Uh, uh, what do you think the corn crop, uh, soybean crop looks like? I'd like to confirm the crop ratings to make sure that they are actually as high as, as what they are. So I'm excited to go out, take some pictures and see if we're going to see that the numbers will be true. Well, I think as your Brazilian clients would notice, it, it's, it's early days in the growing season. Uh, this is uh, something that can change rather dramatically as we get through the uh, uh, pollination and, of course, potting period. But at least here today, things look relatively good. Though we are concerned, or our climate people are concerned, about heat and dryness during late June and July, and it's something that will be very, very key in corn. You know, Tarso, you can lose 7% of corn yield in the United States mm -hmm. in one day with a hot dry weather so during pollination so we've got to be very careful about that. Mm -hmm. My name is Dan Bossi joined by Tarso Veloso. We wish you uh, thanks and uh, we'll be back again to talk about world grain markets at another time.